is entitled Meet Your Moment. Meet your moment. Meet your moment. Meet your moment. We're going to go to Philippians chapter 3. Uh, we're going to start at verse 12. Very familiar scripture for most. Uh, we'll look at it if not. But look, here, here's, here's the reality of life for the believer. The reality of life for the believer is this. There is a place you are supposed to be. Amen. It's true. Everybody doesn't believe it. You may not even understand it. But there is a specific place that you're supposed to be at a specific time. We refer to that as destiny. Amen. That's what we call destiny. That's what it is. Amen. It's a specific place that you're supposed to be at a specific time. In addition to that, for, for the life of the believer, this is true. There is a specific thing that you are supposed to be doing. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> when you get to that specific place, at that specific time. We refer to that as purpose. All right. What is it I'm supposed to be doing and where am I supposed to be doing it? Now, purpose and destiny tends to change based on seasons and what God has for you. But here's the thing. If you are unsure where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing, two things have to happen. One, you've got to pray. Amen. Not the way you've been praying. Amen. Not the prayer that you do where you are doing all the talking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's okay to just listen. And I'm going to tell you something that I know is also true. I don't, I don't plan on lying today, so most of what I'm going to say I believe to be true. Amen. I mean, I don't, I don't intend to lie. <laughs> Even if you don't hear God, when you listen, if you keep listening, you will. Amen. Don't stop listening because you don't hear. Mm -hmm. The one thing I find interesting about traveling now, especially in my car, I know when I leave, when I when I leave when I when I exit the city, because the radio changes. Mm -hmm. The radio changes. And that's the indication that I'm no longer in Kansas. <laughs> I'm someplace else. Mm -hmm. But what's been interesting about it, initially I started to, you know, plug my phone in and listen to my music, but I couldn't do it and I didn't understand why. And so I started listening to this talk radio, which I've never really done in my life, and it's conservative talk radio, which I have no intentions of, 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 of even wanting to listen to. And as I, I was like, this can't be a God thing, right? <laughs> even when I was going to work in the same place every day, I would always listen to my music and then call my wife, but I had, to, I had to, you know, find my groove and wind myself down. But I find myself listening to this conservative talk radio and, 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 and I don't particularly enjoy it, but it's interesting to hear somebody else's view mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to help give, give you perspective. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The thing about faith is, if you're not sure, try it. Amen. Oh, yeah. Right. There's so many people I think, man, if they would just try Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Oh, she you say it this way. She'd say, if what you're doing isn't working, Right. Why wouldn't you try something else? Amen. 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 And we do try other things. God just further down on the list. Mm -hmm. But what's happening now is it's time for us to activate next level faith. Amen. See, see, every time I think about, not every time, but often I think about, when I think about Hebrews 11, 1, I always think about the word now. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. Now. Mm -hmm.
It doesn't just say faith is. It says now faith. Yes. The fact that you trust God today is what's going to produce for you today. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But in order to get to the next level, mm -hmm. you got to activate the next level of faith. Yes. Ever wonder why it seems as though when you believe in God, the most things get the more difficult? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Because if the blessing you're looking for is greater than what you've seen, it's going to require a greater level of faith Amen. to obtain it. Amen. And then it's going to require a greater level of faith to maintain it. Amen. Amen now. Mm -hmm. People don't climb a ladder and work less. Show me where that happens. <laughs> Even some of the most famous entertainers you know, they do three or four different things. Mm -hmm. yeah. They go from rapping to acting to, to writing to directing to producing. It's true. Mm -hmm. Amen. Everybody talks about getting to a next level. But it's going to require you to trust God like you never have before. Amen. Which means you're going to have to go through things that you never have before. So stop pouting about it. Stop whining about it. And please stop looking for sympathy. All right. All right. What most of us need is to be bent over and kicked right in the tush. <laughs> Come on, bitch. Come on now. <laughs> now, if you visualize that, which I hope you did, because I tried to illustrate it for you. All right. What is the first thing that happens as a result of getting kicked in the tush? Shout it out if you think you know. You follow me. <laughs> Probably pain, yeah. Even before the pain. What else? Think about it. Visualize it. What happens if somebody bends you over and kicks you in the tush? What happens? You catch, your, you catch off guard. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Say it again. You catch you off guard. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. Kick you down to the ground. Huh? Kick you to the ground. That's close, man. Thank you for participating. That's close. Visualize it again. Double four. <laughs> God. <laughs> You're going to move forward. Yes, yes. Oh, yes. With a force and a velocity mm -hmm. in which you may not normally move forward. Amen. Pressing by definition is to move by force or weight into a certain position or into a certain place. So sometimes we have to be forced. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like to refer to that as adversity. Yes, yes. Come on. Instead of saying, God, why me? Why me? You should be saying, thank you, Lord. Because uh -huh. if you know the Bible, you start putting the pieces yeah. together in light. Yeah. And what I do with that, I say, well, the Bible says, count it all joy whenever you face trials of any kind. It doesn't mean you have to like going through mess, but it means you understand when you're going through mess, God is pushing you to something greater. Because yeah. yeah. for most of us, if we're not forced into it, we ain't moving into it. Uh -huh. Amen. Right. That's why so many people of God live beneath their means because they get so grateful and complacent when God blesses them. They say, well, I'm just going to stay right here. I'm going to coach in this lane right here. And I'm going to go to church and I'm going to pay my tithes. And they're going to do nothing else because I don't want God to change my life. I'm so good right here. <laughs> Amen. Come on, Bishop. And then Bishop pull up in the Porsche. Okay. Oh, I didn't mean to say that. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Come on, bitch. Come on. <laughs> I'm trying to help, man. I'm trying to help. You help. You help. <laughs> that was a bunch of them out there. I didn't buy the last one. That was a bunch of them out there. I'm trying to help you. <laughs> Amen. Because for a lot of us, we say, well, God, why not me? Because you're not pressing. All right. 
You're running from adversity instead of running into it. Mm -hmm. Y'all know I love pro basketball. And this is playoff time. Yeah. And the best thing about traveling is, I call my wife and say, babe, I love you. Had a good day. But it's playoff time. So, bye-bye. And I just watch basketball all night. <laughs> And she's found that and she's okay. And when I came home, she's like, man, I've been talking through most of the game. I was like, yeah, you, you know, you have. And it's okay. But so far, the best playoff series I've seen is Golden State and Memphis. Yeah. Yeah. Now, here's what's making the series good. Because Memphis star player said, we don't run, we run up the chimney. Because right. we want all the smoke. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And so a lot of times for believers, we run away from the hard stuff. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it's all, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to say something that I haven't said in, in this context, because this is a different context. We run away from hard stuff, and I'm going to tell you why that often happens. But if you want to get to the next level, mm -hmm. you got to have next level faith. Amen. you got to believe God like you never have before. Amen. I asked God this morning, I said, this, this is very familiar. I've talked about this. I've talked through this a lot over, over the course of his ministry. And uh, I said, but I don't want it to be the same thing. And he said, it's not because it's a different context. All it's right. right. He said, I want you to reference Romans 8, 18 through 20. Romans 8, 18 through 20 says, uh, uh, Praise God, praise God, praise God. Romans, well, there's one way to find out in there. Mm -hmm. Huh? My dude, man, you're back on track. Mm -hmm. Praise God. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that will be, will be revealed in us. Mm -hmm. In other words, what you're going through has nothing, is nothing compared to what's going to come out of you. Amen. 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 There's, no, there's not even a comparison. Mm -hmm. And that's good news. If you think about if what's in you is greater than what's going on around you, that's that's good news. Amen. It, it, watch it, but I'm just going to say this and let you think about it. For the earnest expectation of the creation, that's everything that was made, mm -hmm. eagerly waits for the sons of God to be revealed. Everything that was created is eagerly waiting for the sons of God to be revealed. Mm -hmm. Now, if that doesn't support what I started by saying, mm -hmm. all of us have a place we're supposed to be and a thing we're supposed to be doing, then you, you haven't caught up with me yet. All, right. all the creation is waiting for the greatness that's in you to be revealed mm -hmm. so that you can take your place where you're supposed to be and do the thing that you're supposed to be doing. Amen. It's time to be about it. Amen. All right, so let's go back to Philippians 3, 12. I'm going to start at verse 12. I'm just going to read 12 through, I think, 16. So this is the Apostle Paul. And I love Paul because Paul and Peter are as about as real as they get. Amen. Two, they ended up on two opposite sides of the spectrum, one ministering primarily to the Jews and to the church, one ministering primarily to the Gentiles and to the world. But man, they were about as real as it gets. Mm -hmm. Paul says, not that I've already attained all this or have already been perfected, but I press on that I may lay hold of that for which Christ Jesus has laid hold of me. Here's the key. Brethren, I do not no, keep, yeah, yeah, keep going. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended it yet, but one thing I do. Mm -hmm. If you want to be successful, how about emulating what a successful person does? Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
instead of being right in your own mind mm -hmm. and saying, well, this works for me. Mm -hmm. Is it working for you? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm maintaining it, then that's not working Amen. for you. That's called survival mode. Mm -hmm. Like, Rocky, I don't want to lose what I got. <laughs> He says, well, here's the thing I do. He says, I forget those things which are behind and reach forward to those things which are ahead. Mm -hmm. That's the key. Amen. Now, I'm going to tell you, I'm just going to jump right in the kitchen. If I, I'm probably already there, but let's just stay there. I believe the reason a lot of people won't let go of the past is because they don't have the faith to move forward in the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we allow ourselves, our mantra to become everything that we've gone through as opposed to everything we're going to. Because we don't believe we're going to get there. So the only thing we know is where we've been. Mm -hmm. And we stay stuck. Amen. Think about it. Think about it. Think about the people around you. Uh, Listen to that conversation. Listen to people who always talk about the past mm -hmm. and what and measure that to what they're doing now. You're going to see a disparaging difference. Mm -hmm. I guarantee you. If if you if that's not true, tell me. I want to meet what an, I want to meet a real life anomaly. Because mm -hmm. it's very difficult to press toward what's in front of you if you focused on what was behind you. And the hard part of letting it go is because you're not sure who you're going to become. Mm -hmm. You're not sure about where that place of destiny is for you. You're not sure about what that purpose is for you. So in your fear, you hold on to what's familiar. That's good. That's good. Right. And then you become defined by your past. Amen. And wonder why nobody sees in you what you say you believe about you. People can't see it until you believe it. Amen. What was the secret to, to defeating bullets? Remember when you learned the secret? Punch one of them in the mouth. <laughs> the power of a bully was what? Their mouth. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you think about it, how many times do you ever see a bully actually fight somebody? Unless the fight was already warm before they get into it. Mm -hmm. Because that person barked so loud mm -hmm. and so consistently that everybody around them believed they were. Yes. Mm -hmm. He got the hands. How do you know you never seen him throw them? <laughs> he say he got them. I believe him. <laughs> he talked like it and he looked like it. Mm -hmm. And most importantly, he act like it. Mm -hmm. We don't want none of him. <laughs> what would happen if you talk like it? Come on. And looks like it. Mm. And more importantly, acting like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't drop off now. Uh -huh. What would happen if you talk like it, mm -hmm. looked like it, mm -hmm. and acted like it consistently? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. See, right. you can't you can't you can't be putting it on and taking it off. Mm -hmm. You got to be coming all the time. No matter how bad things get, no matter how hard things get, no matter how long it takes, you got to make, you got to stay in character. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You got to talk it and look it and act like it so much that everybody around you believe it. Mm -hmm. That dude is a numbers geek. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I had an ED come and said, when are you coming back to my building? I said, well, is there something specific you need? Specific you need? She said, yeah. I want to get a jump start on the budget. I want to strategize with you on how I can take some of this money and get something what I want. Because I heard you know how to get it. I said, you're right. I do. And I'm going to help you. I'm going to help you. My wife, when I was at the dealership, I was like, I got to go to the car. We're going to leave the dealership. We're not going to leave in time. I got to get a call. And I, I was on this I was on this team, which is like Zoom. And I was on this call. Um, with my my particular group, my my particular folks, and uh, my wife, I, 
wife coming in because we've been eating it. And uh, she brought one, so she came on the first thing she heard, this lady was saying, man, teach me about the financial, man. I just didn't get to teach you about the financial. I'm like, and I became. <laughs> and God keeping me humble reminded me, that's, that wasn't you. That wasn't really you. Keeps me humble. But I'm trying to check because I want to sow that into your spirit. People are now looking at me like that. Like one thing about this, this guy, he knows his numbers. Yes, yes. <laughs> Look at God. I've been prepping like a fool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, I mean, it's a, I, I prepped for three weeks. Mm. It's like this dude smells like man who. Like a college class. I was cramming. <laughs> I had that junk so backwards and forwards. You add it to me in Chinese, I can still answer. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something. So if you believe that God has something greater for you, what are you waiting for? You've got to start the process by activating your own faith. And you don't have to see it to start. That's what faith is. It don't have to happen to start. That's what faith is. You just have to believe it, start saying it, and what you say lines up with what you do, and what you do lines up with who you become, which is how you act. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And all of a sudden, there you are. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You can let that sound good and do nothing about it. Uh. <laughs> if you want to. You can believe it and not try it, mm -hmm. if you want to. But I'm telling you, those who get about it, and here's, a, here's, the, beauty of, here's the beauty of faith, right? Yes, yes, yes. Suppose you're saying to me, <coughs> I can feel your spirit. Mm -hmm. I'm not really sure, Bishop, what I ought to be asking for. Mm -hmm. What do you love? What are you passionate about? Yes, yes, yes. Because there's no limits. Mm -hmm. I hate to say this again, Amen. but Amen. I am living proof. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I am. Yes. I'm not bragging. I know my life. Mm -hmm. I know my story. Mm -hmm. I know where I came from. Yes, yes. I know what I went through. Mm -hmm. But I remember mm -hmm. when, my, when I activated my faith, and I decided I was going to be somebody different. Amen. And I started changing the way I dressed yes. first. Yes. So yes. when I start talking about like that, people say, oh, he, see, he, he ain't coming out like that. Okay, <laughs> you keep doing it your way. Yeah. It's working for you. Mm -hmm. It's working for you. Mm -hmm. Lord Jesus. I started changing the way I dressed first. I start reading the dictionary second. Because there's nothing worse than trying to sound smart <laughs> and using the words in the wrong place. <laughs> so before I use the word, I re I looked it up first. Okay. I'm just telling you what I did. Right. I still do. My best friend is a thesaurus. All right now. You know what a thesaurus is? Yeah, yeah. You know what a thesaurus is? Raise your hand you know what a thesaurus is. Mm -hmm. This man, come here, come here, come here. Come here, run up here, run up here, run up here. This dude is with me, man. He been with me all day. Come up here quick, boy. <laughs> Give me some doubt, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for being come back every Sunday. He's he been with me all day. My man, what's your name? Brandon. Thanks for coming, man. All right, Brandon. The Lord told me to give you that. All right, Brandon. You better tell your mama, Brandon, back there every night. <laughs> He's been with me the whole morning. So what I did was I looked up the words I wanted to use to impress. I started looking up at the saw, looking at the saurus. Because it gave me a better understanding of how to use the word. What other words mean the same thing, yes. but they're different. Yes, yes. So I can interchange them. Mm -hmm. I did that a couple weeks ago at Apostle Hill's Church for those who went. Thank you for those who went. 
I start off by saying I'm going to use a synonym. I'm going to switch some things up here. I'm going to interchange a couple of words here. They mean the same thing. I started off that way. That's how I started. <laughs> the first thing I did was change the way I dressed. That's the first thing I did. You can follow my recipe. I'm just telling you. If you want something different, you got to do something different. You can't do the same thing and get something different. I changed the way I dressed, I changed the way I talked, and I changed the way I acted. Yes. Praise God. I started acting like a boss. Mm -hmm. Not bossy. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Amen. Boss ish. Mm -hmm. That's the difference. Let me tell you what that means for those in case you want to know. Come Some of y'all ain't going to like this, but Come I'm going to tell you anyway. Come on. <laughs> I started doing things that people didn't pay me to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That's good stuff, brother. <laughs> That's yeah. good stuff. Some of y'all like, well, I just be. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. That's good stuff. I started doing stuff that was not in my job description. Tell it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Look at this. Amen. I want to hurt your feelings. That's all right. But if you still say, making this statement, that ain't in my job description. Mm -hmm. Shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't in my job description. And that's the only way to say it, too. You can't say it nice. <laughs> Excuse me, that's not in my job description. No. That ain't in my job description. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to take my word for it. Just keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Just keep doing it. And you be that person in that middle lane just... I don't want to go fast. I don't want to go slow. I don't want to lose what I got. I'm happy right here. I can afford the rent. I can afford the car note. It just squeak by with the insurance. And if nothing changes, I'll just be fine right here in this middle lane. And the son paying off her car. I ain't mean to make you the envy of some people, man. Amen. 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 That's right. Okay. Mm. But the key is, he says, forget what's behind me. Mm. Press, force my way towards what's in front of me. That's how you get to that place you're supposed to be and do that thing you're supposed to do. Amen. Just like it takes faith to move forward, mm -hmm. it takes faith to let go of the past. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. When you refer to your past, it should be in the form of a testimony. Mm -hmm. It should not be in the form of a lifestyle Amen. or justification. Well, I can't do this because, well, I only do this because, well, I've, you know, I've been hurt so many times. How many times I've been hurt? Mm. And have hurt? Got to be fair. All right. But I'm not defined by my mistakes. I Amen. refuse to be. Amen. Amen. I refuse to be. I'm better because of my mistakes. I'm not defined by my mistakes. Amen. If you don't talk about what I did in the past, you gotta, you gotta call somebody up. You can't talk about it to me. <laughs> remember when, remember when who <laughs> did what? <laughs> to me? Mm -hmm. You crazy. Mm -hmm. You let somebody tell you what you used to do? Mm -hmm. Unless you're still doing it. <laughs> but if you're not doing it, they should be talking about you, not to you. Amen. I'm not gonna be defined by my past. Amen. I'm gonna be better because of it. Amen. I say this all the time. One of the biggest hindrances to moving forward is looking backwards. Amen. One of the biggest hindrances to moving forward is looking backwards. Yes, it, is. it takes everything you got to believe God for tomorrow. Amen. Amen. And if you're not looking forward to tomorrow, then therein lies the problem. You're too busy trying to maintain. Forget that. Go on and preach. Push yourself into tomorrow. Yeah. And if you can't, call me. And I will spiritually kick you into tomorrow. <laughs> okay. That's 
right? Because I'm not going to physically touch you because I want to be physically touched. I just wanted to illustrate to you what I meant. I can do it over the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have to be here in face. We don't have to be face to face. Put him on the spot now. True story. He called me. He said, he asked me some advice last week. I gave him advice. He said, why didn't you tell me before I made that phone call? I said, why didn't you call me before you made that phone call? What you talking about? You know to call me first. Amen. <laughs> he was like, man, God. <laughs> you know to call me first. Amen. Not getting it if some of you don't want to move forward. That's fine. Mm -hmm. That's what the middle lane is for. <laughs> Those coasters. Yeah. Those coasters. Mm -hmm. You find your apartment, you never want to buy a house. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. You never want to live in an apartment. I lived in one for years. Nothing wrong with it. I'm saying, but if you don't want anything else, then just stay in the middle. Mm -hmm. When you get over that, you, that's got to be a purpose. Amen. Mm -hmm. When you get. Ah, look at it. I'm on one today. <laughs> I don't even know if y'all really realize what I'm doing here. Yeah, when yeah. you get over, yeah. what's the primary objective? It's to get ahead faster. Yeah. Something's blocking me. I can't get around. Yeah. I can't even see you around. Yeah. Come on, baby. We're trying to make you find the trucks. I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I got to see what's ahead of me. All right, I'm just trying. I'm just trying. We ain't got it right now. That's you okay. Working. You work. It's okay. Uh -huh. yeah. You working. You working. But if you are in a perpetual spiritual rut, mm. and you know what that is, mm -hmm. when you feel like, man, God, I'm trying everything I can, but nothing is happening, you're in a rut. Mm -hmm. You're in a rut. It happens to everybody. When you find yourself, and I say perpetual, because I mean like a continual cycle of it. Like I just can't seem to get over the hump. You ever said that to yourself about yourself? I just can't seem to get over the hump. Man, how many years did I spend trying to get, like if I could just get from here to here, right. I can see my way. And it's like, no matter how hard you try, you just can't get there. And you're like, if I could just get there, everything will be different. And you're right, it will. That's why it's so hard to get there. Because once you start living on another level, it changes things. Amen now. Mm -hmm. I'm real bougie now, man. <laughs> I am. Come on, Bishop. Come on. I am. That's all right. I'm putting a line. I, I, I didn't start off line. I ain't going to start line now. Come on, Bishop. That's right. Mm -hmm. right well, Say, so you want to eat on order or something? Yeah, I want some Chinese food. And make sure I get chopsticks. Oh. <laughs> I never eat my Chinese food with a fork anymore. <laughs> okay. I told him a few weeks ago, I said, hey, go online and make us a reservation for this restaurant. But I only want a restaurant that serves a certain type of fish. Mm -hmm. I want to go to another place. I heard her phone with a sister like, you know, man, tell him he want to. <laughs> Girl, I gotta find a restaurant there. <laughs> That's all right. Dead serious too. I wasn't even playing around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's all right. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm trying to help you. Amen. Get some of that green out your eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Free your heart up. <laughs> Amen. Walk around mad at me. You can't stop me. <laughs> My trust is in Jesus. Amen. My hope is in Jesus. Praise God. I just take the word like a puzzle. How many times have you seen me do that? Mm -hmm. And I just start putting the pieces together as it's appropriate in my life. And for people who think they can do it without God, sure you can, but let's see how that works out for mm -hmm. you. Yeah, you, you don't have to you try God. Mm -hmm. You don't have to connect with him. You don't have to let him lead you. But let's see how that works for you. Yeah, right. yeah. <clears throat> I hired a lady, true story, and paid her 20, off, uh, 
$25,000 less than what she was making a year. She said, because money don't mean nothing to me. She said, I'm on peace. I'm on peace. I'm on balance. Money ain't the end all be all. God is. Amen. Amen. God is. Amen. 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 Yes, he is. But you can't lose confidence in what you believe is going to happen. Mm -hmm. You've got to have faith. Because if you don't, you're going to be stuck, reduced to what you've already seen happen. And this is a new day. This is a new time. Believers ought to be stepping into something new. Amen. Something new. All creation is waiting for us. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's right there. You know why? You know why? You know why all creation is waiting for us? Because all creation, which was created by our creator, which we were also, is waiting for people like us to take our rightful place yeah. so that creation can get back in order with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. Lord, yes. Yes. See? We often complain about the most evil being done by people in power. Why don't we take some of that power and do some good with it? Mm -hmm. That's too big for me. Mistake number one. There's a place you're supposed to be. Guess amen. what? It's greater than the place you're in right now. Amen. Amen. It's greater than the place you're in right now. Amen. There's something you're supposed to do. It's greater than the, than the assignment you're, uh, you, you, you're completing right now. Yeah. But you got to have faith to get you there. You got to have faith to maintain when you get there. Because when you go higher, adversity gets harder. Mm -hmm. Devils get more fierce. Because you become more of a threat. You know why? When you start saying, I can bless people. I can help people. Mm -hmm. You know why, Brandon, you got blessed? Mm -hmm. You know why you got blessed? Because he's blessed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Amen. 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 There may be some other people who wanted to do something for you, Brandon. Mm -hmm. And I'm not knocking. I'm just saying. The more blessed you are, the more of a blessing you become. And you can hear God because you knew, you realize it's not just about you and yours. Mm -hmm. I thought, man, I bought that car. It's going to have so many, it ain't going to have no miles on it. <laughs> I ain't going to drive it except Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> if value going to increase substantially because the miles going to be low. What a God we serve. <laughs> it does, though. The thing ain't moved in a week. <laughs> <laughs> A year from now, I'll be, my mouth will be in the same group. <laughs> you won't have gone out of the same category. <laughs> and if you don't understand what I mean by that, then you got work to do. Amen. That don't have no value to see. <laughs> what are you talking about? Mileage. <laughs> oh. So I'm going to close with this. Moving into this new place that I believe all of us should be in or supposed to be in requires you to press. That's what Paul said. That's the only way to get there. I have to press toward it because everything around you is going to say no. It's going to discourage you. The devil loves to discourage you. Uh, you can't do that. That's too much. You don't need all that. It don't take all that. You'll be fine with just this. You're not going to be able to do that when you get there anyway. That's too much for you. You can barely handle things now. What's your wife going to say? What's your husband going to say? What's going to happen to the family? Blah, 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 blah. All of us, you know, you know, you know, your credit score. You know, you know, you got something on your background. And everything around you is like, no. And it's suffocating. It's suffocating. And before you know it, you're reduced. You're reduced to what? What you know. Mm -hmm. So we run away from the smoke. Yeah. Because mm. we're, we're afraid. Yeah. Because we start believing what we see more than we believe what God says. Because we're not walking by faith. Yes, yes. You just have to live by faith. If you're not living by faith, then you're going you're gonna to be uh, reduced to what's happening around you. And the world is not your friend. Mm -hmm. It isn't. Amen. They don't want you to win. Mm -hmm. They don't. 
And we still struggle to figure out why so many people hate us. They're supposed to. Amen. They're supposed to. We're enemies. Mm -hmm. They're supposed to hate you. Plus, that is a sign you're doing something right, by the way. Amen. You're like, I ain't going through nothing. That means you ain't doing nothing. That's right. That's right. <laughs> right. Hmm. <laughs> and you ain't going through nothing? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, that's, that's scary. Yeah. She my life good. I mean, mine good too, but I go through stuff. Amen. If you ain't going through nothing, that means you're no threat to anybody. No threat. Just no. telling you the truth. Amen. The more of a threat you become, the more of an attack the enemy tries to launch on you because he's going to make you give up. That's right. I got to make up with I got to break her. That's right. True story. Why did the Egyptians try to break the, uh, uh, the Israelites? Mm -hmm. You know why? Because when Pharaoh, who promoted Joseph, died, and a new Pharaoh came into power, I'm going to with this. When a new Pharaoh came into power, and now all of a sudden all these Israelites in Egypt bawling. Because of the favor of God that's on Joseph. Mm -hmm. Joseph's like, go get my whole family. Bring everybody down to Egypt. <laughs> Let's bring them all. Man, people, everybody started running them out. What? Joseph said, what? <laughs> everybody started coming. Israelites everywhere. The new Pharaoh comes into power and he says, what is all these, what is all these foreigners? Mm -hmm. Well, they got us out number bad. So bad. The Pharaoh says, what if war breaks out? Mm -hmm. And they side with our enemy. We're done. Mm -hmm. So he said, what we're going to do is break their spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're going to break them so they don't know how powerful they really are. Mm -hmm. Let's read the Bible. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. He said, if war breaks out and they side with our enemy, we're done. And they just keep multiplying. It won't go nowhere. Mm -hmm. Where did they come from? How did this happen? So a lot of times, the enemy will launch a specific attack to break you down. Yeah. I mean, hit you where it hurts, man, for real. Mm -hmm. You ever been hit where it hurts? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about, I mean, get you, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, the kind of stuff you have to go to the bathroom, mm -hmm. but ain't nobody else around. Yeah, yeah. Can't even look yourself in the mirror. It's all disgusting with yourself. You're such a loser. <laughs> the devil just got you, man. He got you. He knows. Most of us talk a lot, but you know. Mm -hmm. But hit you where it hurt. Why? Because he wants to break your spirit mm -hmm. so that you won't live up to your potential. Pharaoh said, I can't let these people mm -hmm. think for one second they can get the upper hand on us. And there's people around you saying the same thing. There's spirits around you saying the same thing. I cannot let him, I cannot let her realize who she really is because she will walk over me Frontward and backwards and sideways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She'll put me in place. He'll start telling me what to do. Because we win. Amen. Amen. Every time. Every time. We just have to remember that. Yes, yes. Amen. So stop soaking up the sun of the past. Mm -hmm. Stop being known for who you were mm -hmm. and what you did. Amen. Amen. And please don't wear it. Mm -hmm. like, a, like a bandana around your own head. Mm -hmm. I'm the heavyweight champion of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> this has been trying to distance yourself so far from who you used to be. Yeah. Amen. So I'm a new creation. Amen. I ain't perfect, but I'm new. Amen. And every day, I might not get it right, but I'm going to get back up when I fall yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I think the wrong thoughts, I'm going to repent and think a different thought. Yeah. When I say the wrong thing, I'm going to repent and say the right thing. I'm going to curse those non-productive seeds and speak what I want to happen over my life. Amen. 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 Jesus, man. Yes, yes. There's people around me who have become things that they were not. Yes. I can become it too. That's right. Yes. Take a stab at it. Bishop, I don't know. What do you love? What are you passionate about? Amen. What do you think you can do better than anybody else? Yes. 
Yeah, but I didn't go to school for it. Neither did I. <laughs> so, neither did I. Only got licensed when it was a state requirement. <laughs> People thought I already had some license. I didn't have a credit. Like, it is as you say. <laughs> work for Jesus, work for me. Amen. Amen. Where did you get your license? <laughs> I know he got a life. Right. Do you say so? Yeah. That's it. <laughs> what is word? What is word? Word. word? They said you gotta get a life. I was like, oh crap. <laughs> Praise God. That's right. I got my license made one hundred percent on my test. Hundred question test. I made a 100 on 100 question test. Yes, yes. You know why? Because I knew there was no way I was going to fail. All right. I am already this without mm -hmm. the license. Mm -hmm. Amen. That's all right. I'm just trying to sow it into you, man. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to sow it into you. I want you to leave here like this. Mm -hmm. like, ugh. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to wait for somebody to see my value. I'm going to take it. What's the next step for me? I'm going to take it. I'm going to start doing things that nobody asked me to do. I'm going to start doing things that nobody else does. I'm going to be early. I'm going to stay late. Yeah. I'm going to start showing the talent that I know I have. Even if you didn't actually see it, I'm going to put it on display so you can't ignore it. All right now. Mm -hmm. Look at you. Don't disconnect from me now. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> You're preaching. Amen. Set the alarm for 30 minutes earlier. All right. Don't attempt. All right. Get up. Mm -hmm. Some coffee and get there. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Working. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Working. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know what it's like to be on the other side. Mm -hmm. I know it's like to have discussions about people that they don't even know you're talking about them. Amen. Amen. Good or bad. Amen. Amen. And the good ones are amazing. Mm -hmm. I know it's like to be able to tell somebody, hey, you, you're going to get a bonus for the first time since you've been working with this company. My like, God, why? You, they should have promoted you years ago. I, I agree. <laughs> I agree. Yes, yes. Two years you've been working here, you're going to get a bonus. Oh my God, that's fantastic. Push yourself. Yes, stop being comfortable. Mm -hmm. Stop being complacent. And please stop waiting for a miracle to fall out of the sky. Amen. It's not going to happen that way. You got to reach up by faith and take it. Amen. I'm challenging you. Got to. I'm challenging you. You can hear me, and even if you're alive, I'm do something different. Push yourself. Anybody in here want less? I'm going to ask you to stand, go out, uh, outside for a minute. I'm going to ask you to go next door for one minute. If you want line and you want less, click off. Amen. <laughs> this is your moment right here. Amen. This is your moment right here. Amen. This is why you came to church today. This is why you watched online. Mm -hmm. This is it. God, what are you telling me? Now you know. He's telling you to get in gear. Get focused. Move by force into a certain position or into a certain place by force. And if you don't have the gumption to do it, then there's plenty of us. I'm not the only one that you can call and we'll help you. Amen. We'll help you. Amen. I'm, I'll, I'll kick you. I will, I'll kick you. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not going to say it any different, because that's what it's going to be. Amen. It's all right. I'm going to kick you right in your spirit, man. Amen. I'm going to connect myself to yourself like a pair of jumper cables. Amen. And I'm going to jumpstart your spirit. Amen. 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 
and get you moving in the right direction. Amen. It's time to own. Amen. 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 Yes. Yes. You got to buy it, man. You got to buy it. You got to buy it. Mm -hmm. You got to buy it. Just hear it clear. You got to buy it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. You got to buy it. Amen. Amen. You got to buy. You got Amen. to get to it. You got to Amen. buy. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. All right. Amen.